been there. We're at a restaurant, food was great, but now there are 10 people who ordered 50 different things, and Paul ordered a Wagyu steak, and no one wants to pay for that. In this episode of Math 2.0, we learn Common Core addition and subtraction through trial by fire, the restaurant check. Our Common Core math expert is here to help us break this down. So let's say our steak was $328. Yeah, it was an expensive meal. And our wine was $654. Bear with us here. It's for the math. How much do we owe, Chris? Before, the way parents used to do it, we would teach them a traditional algorithm. We threw away everything that they understood about place value. In this problem, we're not adding a 1, even though that's what we're writing. We're actually adding a 10, since the 2 is in the 10's place. We want kids to be able to do mental computation. We don't always have paper and pencil, so we use decompose and incompose in numbers. So if I look at 328, I know that it's 300 plus 20 plus 8, and it would be 600 plus 50 plus 4. Then I can compose the numbers back together, 900, and then I know 70 plus 12 is 82, so I can put that with my 900s and it becomes 982. Okay, so now we owe half a kidney and $982. Now say Paul is cashing in on a loan Sam owes him and wants him to pay for some of his steak. Paul's steak is $758 and Sam is paying him $543. Yep, we're doing subtraction. So if I do the subtraction based on place value and how you pull that number apart, it would look like this. We would do 700 plus 50 plus 8. Do the same for the second number, 500 plus 40 plus 3. And then this time I'm subtracting that 700 minus 500, that that's 200. 50 minus 40 is 10. 8 minus 3 is 5. Then I can compose that number back together and see that it's 215. Of course, kids still learn the traditional algorithm. But learning to break numbers down first gives them a better understanding of place value and value and makes mental computation easier later on. And that's how everyone is still friends at the end of the night. 